Behind me you see seeds being planted. But wait, fall is a terrible time of year for a little plant to grow. Fortunately, seeds have the ability to wait for Goldilocks conditions, not too hot and not too cold before they grow. Seeds develop after the union of male and female reproductive cells. A fully developed seed contains an embryo or a tiny plant and some food resources wrapped in a seed coat. Dormancy is broken when optimal soil temperature, water, and oxygen levels are reached. Sometimes the seed has to be broken down before the seeds can get enough water and oxygen to signal growth. This can happen by passing through an animal digestive system, being scuffed up by rocks, or surviving a fire. When the conditions are right, germination begins. First, the seed takes up water, called imbibition. It swells and breaks the seed coat. Enzymes start breaking down the food reserve, which feeds the embryo until photosynthesis can begin. The root, also called the radical, emerges first, followed by the shoot. Once the shoot emerges from the soil, food reserves have been exhausted, leaves are formed, and photosynthesis begins. Hopefully the seed was correct in germination timing so that it can get a good start and survive the battle against the elements. From the University of Wyoming Extension, I'm Mae Smith, exploring the nature of Wyoming. <laughs>